The NPC Live and the NPC Live 2 are the only NPCs that have a battery and can function without being connected to an electrical outlet. The NPC Live 2, shown here, also has a full color multi touch display and eight banks of the 16 legendary NPC pads that take up most of the real estate on the top panel. At the top left corner of the NPC Live 2, you have your master volume knob. To the right of that, you have your pad bank buttons, allowing you to switch between banks A through H. Beneath that, you have your note repeat button, secondary function latch, your full level button, secondary function half level, your 16 level button, secondary function pad perform, and your erase button. To the right of your pad bank buttons, you have your undo, secondary function redo button, your copy, secondary function delete button. Beneath that, you have your step sequence, secondary function automation button, and your time correction, secondary function off and on button. To the right of your touch screen, you have your four touch sensitive Q-Link knobs. The knobs can control one column of parameters at a time. And above that, you have your Q-Link button, which you can press to change the column of parameters the Q-Link knobs currently control essentially giving you 16 Q-Link knobs. Beneath the Q-Link knobs, you have your data dial, and you can use this to scroll through menu options or adjust parameter values of the selected field in the display. Pressing the data dial also functions as an enter button. Beneath the touch screen, you have your shift button, allowing you to access secondary functions, your menu button, secondary function browse, your main button, secondary function grid, your mix button, secondary function sampler, your mute button, secondary function sample edit, your next sequence button, secondary function XFX, and your plus and minus button, which allow you to decrease or increase the value of the selected field in the display. In your last row of buttons, you have your tap tempo, secondary function master button, and you have your transport, which includes record, overdub, stop, play, and play start. Finally, at the bottom, you have another feature that's unique to the MPC Live 2, a speaker. When the speaker switch on the rear panel is set to on, these speakers will play the current audio. You'll use the master volume knob to control the volume of the speakers. On the rear panel of the MPC Live 2, you have your power switch and your power input, your Ethernet link input, a USB B port to connect the MPC Live 2 to your computer to control the MPC software, two USB A ports to connect USB flash drives, two 5 pin MIDI inputs and two 5 pin MIDI outputs, eight CV gate outputs, an SD card slot, stereo quarter inch input and stereo phono jack input, your grounding terminal, your line of phono switch to choose between the RCA or quarter inch inputs to the right, your recording volume knob, four quarter inch outputs, your stereo left and right quarter inch output, your speaker on or off button to determine whether the speaker on the front of the MPC plays the sound coming out of the MPC, and a quarter inch headphone output jack.